for every investor subscriber who says that I only sell EMA, this video is going to be a treat because I think this is one of the best investment opportunities of the year. Why? One, of course, this developer is one person who I believe actually beat EMA in their own turf. What does that mean? Now, the master developer of the of Dubai Marina is EMA. But unfortunately, so that's the first towers by EMA. The original six towers. So, unfortunately, it was more Ara Arabian style. So, the best projects by EMA in Dubai Marina is one is the original six towers. And one is on the other end towards the beach called Marina Promenade. Select, when they first came to Dubai Marina, they, they started with something called the Bay. Uh, which is, uh, so it's three towers, uh, central, east, and there's one, the center called, which is the Intercontinental Hotel now. But when, so then I was not very, the reason I don't remember the name is because the floor plans are very crooked, so I couldn't work with those floor plans. Even with those floor plans, the Airbnb works fantastic because it's a walk across the beach. But when Select came with Marina Gate, it was a game changer, a game changer to the market. Nobody so it's got King's Hospital inside the building. You can see all the retail outlets. The gym in in uh, Marina Gate was one of the best gyms in the whole of Dubai Marina. I've had billionaires, billionaires stay on Airbnb at uh, at Marina Gate, and they were extremely happy with the building. So that's how good Marina Gate is. Now you must understand in the whole of Dubai Marina. Now, I can show you some towers, you wouldn't even know it's EMA. For example, this building here, it's uh, it's called um, Marina Tower by MR. You know, but uh, again, you know, it, it didn't... Dubai was evolving then. See, Mar but MR, what I love about MR is that they constantly evolve, right? So, they made a killing out of downtown. Because over here, 80% of the buildings were private developers. And 20% of the buildings were MR. So, Select came in and kicked it off the roof. I don't think there's a building that can challenge this. But why it's not as good as this? Because of the location. Look at that location. Right, right there, you know. It's, it's right bang on the center of Marina Walk. Everything is right nearby. I mean, residents can enjoy. There's a spinnies right there. And just look at the vibe of Dubai Marina. You must enjoy this vibe. Another phenomenal developer was Trident. So, these are uh, Trident. Marine Escape, they also have a building called Trident Grand. But unfortunately, a lot of people don't know this. Initially, it was owned by uh, a Pakistani uh, owner, but there was some sort of... He disappeared amongst all the controversy. Again, I don't want to discuss controversial uh, content. I mean, we've gone through a lot of swings in Dubai real estate. You must understand, between 2004 till today, People like me, there are very few people who have that much of experience in Dubai. We have seen it all. We have seen it all. I can't even tell you the things that I've seen with such developers. So, um, but that's where Select stands out. Now, this is why I cannot speak about every developer. MR has stood ground. It has constantly performed. Now, where Select has performed? Marina Gate, an investor, bought somewhere around 1.4, 1.5 million dirhams. Today, the prices are three and a half million dirhams for a one bed. Now, that's that's where that shows grit. Another project that they made. So they made this. They made another project in called Studio something at one corner of Dubai Marina. Why I don't remember the name is because it's a it's a particular section of Dubai Marina that I don't like a lot. So I don't ask my investors. They, there was even a project called Stella Marie that came in that same section. I did not work on the project because I didn't like the location. It's where Opal Tower, Manchester Tower. Uh, all these buildings are Aura Marina, all of that is in that section. It works, but I'm very, very picky when it comes to my investors. So, um, but again, it was a phenomenal building. I'll share the pictures. The, the building was phenomenal. But another, yet again, they made a project called Peninsula at Business Bay. Now, Peninsula, people made money in secondary off plan means even before the project was ready, investors made a fantastic premium. People are willing to pay half a million, um, up to a million dirhams in premium 
four peninsula now that explains the power of a developer now so hence yet again i don't speak about every developer because the developer should have proven should have proven track record before i sell it to my investors so this video is a special tribute to all my subscribers all my investors that they are coming up with a project now the best part about select is that it comes on a 40 60 payment plan 40 60 you know what that means insane leverage now re in recent times ellington really shot up the prices where it, it killed my like for example arbor view in arjan was selling close to 2100 dirham per square foot so you know good developers they are getting a bit confusing so it's very hard to select the right products <coughs> select is coming to maritime city there's a project that's coming g plus 48 only one beds and two beds the two beds will be the corner units one bedroom the center all the units will have full sea view the pricing will be somewhere around 1.3 1.4 million dirhams for one bed 2.1 million dirhams for two bed on a 40 60 payment plan can you imagine the sort of leverage trading you can do now i've made a very comprehensive report for rashid yachts and marina uh i will share it with my investors i'm going to make a video about uh, right after this explaining that report uh in that report i didn't know about this project i literally got to know i just i just got discharged from the hospital a second i knew about this project i dropped my family home i straight came to dubai marina i had to show you the building and i had to explain about the power of this developer and now i'm going to send you an excel sheet about about the new project by select in maritime city this after 8 months so it's good uh, i could show you the next project of select that is a big success so it's these these ones right here I believe they were called the Bay. So you can see the Intercontinental right there. So those three buildings are by Select again, but it's a phenomenal success in terms of Airbnb. So those three buildings. Now I'll explain to you the buildings of Amar. Personally, I love them, but now we are going to come to a market of refurbishment. So very soon, I'm going to share you guys my brand new business model. where i'm going to uh, enter areas like palm uh, emirates hills emirates living district where we're going to refurbish and sell property that that era is coming in dubai now dubai is a very young market so that era is coming so i feel like those projects so uh, the ones right after this is marina keys i don't know if you've seen my video of uh, who am i <laughs> so in who am i we are the ones who took hand over of marina keys and park island uh and in this side of course you have the address dubai marina in front of address dubai marina you have uh al majara personally one of my favorite locations because um, it's connected with marina mall it's connected with marina mall and uh it's right in front of the metro station so al majara is also one of i uh, see i love amr you must understand i love the project of amr it, it always retains value but Select did beat Amar in its stuff. It's like how Ellington did with DT1 in downtown Dubai. DT1 in terms of quality was just off. It just off the roof. You know, just too good. And till date, I have celebrities living in DT1. So, so yes, here, but at the right price. At the right price is the opportunity. So, uh, this is. definitely a 100% a fantastic opportunity now i'd like you to enjoy the rest of the ride if something interesting comes up that's marina mall it's beautiful right uh, so anything see for me uh, an airbnb destination is this side so you can see al fatan over there don't miss that so those glass buildings over there's al fatan that's the beach basically so the entire sandstone buildings that you see that all of those are jbr now despite of those tiny hor like it's 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 so old it is so old there are so many maintenance issues with properties in jbr but you'll be surprised please be my guest go search for one beds and two beds for sale in jbr you're going to find only upgraded properties selling close to 3 3.6 million for a two bed with the sea view in jbr 
if you search for one bed, no, unfortunately, the, the one beds are quite big. It's around one uh, one thousand two hundred square foot. They are selling at two point six million. I've seen these properties go at like one point three, one point four. I'm just talking about supply. When supply ends, the prices are going to rise. Period. It can be JBR, which is phenomenally old, yet it's a classic. Similarly, so for me, these buildings on this side were investment destinations because it's a walk across the beach. So that's Marina Keys. So it was it was one of my babies back in uh, 2010. Uh, it was very close. This project is very close to my heart. I know I remember having the bunch of keys, taking the handovers of these properties, and uh, just 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 fantastic experience. You know, back in the day. Uh, so another another. I don't want to make the video too stretchy. Is that a yacht? Is that? Wow. Is that a yacht? Oh. <laughs> okay, let's just. I don't want to make it too much of information in the video. But uh, just one last one. Another product that you must see. Palmer Holdings. So this building was called Silverine. It was a rage during the day. Um, because the location, see anyone who built something contemporary and modern and contemporary made a killing. It became a fantastic success. The the floor plans are really small again. It's around the 550, 600 square foot womb beds. But the view was so nice. Imagine this view. So look at those, look at those corner units. Can you see those corner units right there? Can you imagine living there? The best view of Dubai. It's just phenomenal. So this is what we can imagine out of maritime city in three years time and so I made a very comprehensive report like I've mentioned called Dubai coastline if you understand what's happening going to happen in La Mer the extension of the J1 beach 10 of the best restaurants in the world coming to that section what the government is planning with D33 vision 2040 60% greenery that's all in those new areas right so it just makes complete sense we're heading towards the end of Dubai Marina so in this video we're going to just quickly give you a complete glimpse of Dubai Marina the best buildings where to invest where not to invest why which developer is good uh, Vida Dubai Marina again uh, you missed if you're looking at it now you probably missed the boat because you're going to buy it at a very uh, a very like even in the second see again like I said MR if you if you miss the boat you're going to buy at a huge jump a huge premium where it doesn't make sense which I've explained in my report because if you see all the ROIs, it's all at 6%, 5% because of this hiked price. If you bought it at a lower price, that's when you make the 10%. And if it's on Airbnb, you can increase it based on your occupancy. So that's the existing yacht club uh, next to my favorite building, the Al Majara. Um, now, the biggest yacht club is set to come in Rashid Yachts and Marina. Uh, there's a luxury cruise line terminal set to come in Rashid Yachts and Marina. That's Marina Promenade, classic again, never loses value, never loses its shine. Um, again, one of the first buildings with the ones that we saw initially, original six towers. So that's Marina Promenade for you. Uh, but as you can see, there's a difference in the area. You won't find as much of crowd that you saw in front of Marina Gate. It's a little more relaxed. So it's more like a family environment over here. In the evenings, we come by, uh, you'll find People walking their dogs, going for a jog. But unfortunately for investors, we need that. We need that action. You need to play, be exactly where the action is. Now, unfortunately, even though JBR is, is really old and ugly, I'm, I didn't say that, but I hope you understood that. Please don't sue me. I'm done with cases. But because they face the Dubai Eye, I don't know if you can see the Dubai Eye right there. <coughs> but the vibe of JBR is second to none. The best place to hang out in Dubai till date is JBR. I love the vibe. I mean, if you're having a bad day, you can just go for a walk in JBR and it's, it's phenomenal. It just feels so good. So, so that is why even till date, I say any building in this side, if it's a walk across to the beach. Now, again, JBR is sea view. It's not private beach. It is sea view. Very comparable to which product? To Rashid Yachts and Marina, to Maritime City. Yes, you have to walk to a private beach, but the best private beach in Dubai is yet to come. You have to see the La Mer Beach. That is the future. So uh, we are heading towards the end of Dubai Marina. That's about it. Uh, so that's the section of Dubai Marina that I mentioned that I'm not a big fan of uh, because if there's too much of 
traffic that's Stella Marie right there um, so I don't do a lot of business in that section of Mar Marina this is my section for Airbnb anything on this side is where I invest in majorly and to make serious money you got to invest in developers like select so this is for when you just want cash flow right you're like okay I want a property that does not lose value and I get a stable income I'll invest in an EMA at this section but if I want to make, I want to do a trade, I find the right product. And the right product, right now for me, like I said, over the last eight months, the last time I made a serious sort of flip, a trade was at Markasa and DR because I had a 4% DLD waiver. I was buying it at 1,800 per square foot. That was a place I could trade. <coughs> I did a trade with Imperial Avenue 2080. Now it's like 40, 60. But still, I will make a trade over there. Now, this is the third place I think we can make a phenomenal trade. 4060 with the select group, with the guys behind Marina Gate. It's, it's a no-brainer. It's fantastic. Now, when you see other developers, you know, they've come up with so many projects over here. If you go with the reviews, I mean, these, these products, the Marina Wharf was developed by Dealer East Coast. I'm not going to say anything negative, but you can call me and I'll tell you the negatives. <coughs> Same Sparkle Tower. Live, you know, Live was, was uh, I was shocked, you know, I was really shocked with the reviews. Uh, again, I can't speak anything on, on YouTube. Uh, I tried speaking in Shoba and some other developers and it, it, it became a big issue. So I'm not going to speak against any developers. All developers are good, but I work with a few. So um, towards the end, so that's Select Group, you can see one over there. So it's called Studio Something. I haven't worked on that building because of the location. Uh, I don't like uh, most of the buildings in that location. There's too much of traffic. Uh, there's a mosque over there. Not that there's a problem of a mosque over there. But uh, in that section, let's say it's not the most high-end area. So a lot of people don't know this, but Dubai Marina is, is uh, divided into zones. Zones A, Zone B, Zone C, Zone D. So that's one zone I don't work in. Uh, they have uh, Manchester Tower, Zen Tower. There's a, a hotel over there. Uh, a lot of shady business happens in that section of Dubai Marina, so uh, I just stay away from it. But if you see the tower, it's it's fantastic. So these covers, all the, uh, those fantastic. Amaro, I love Amaro. Mwah. Jumeirah Gate Living, the address uh, 50 to 42. Again, phenomenal reviews, fantastic, but if you miss the gate, you know, it's just too expensive. It, it becomes an end user product. It doesn't become completely an investor product. If you have missed the bus, then it's okay with that. I have a lot of investors coming to me now saying, oh, let's buy in, in, in Creek Harbour. I'm like, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, now if we go to invest, we're going to buy uh, dead stock. Means the stock that's left with the developer and I don't want to get into that stock. Uh, but if you buy it at the right time, yes, it's a money-making machine. So right developer, right price, right time. And we can make some serious money. So thank you for watching. Opportunity is now i'm making this video we have probably one week's time 16 september 2023 we have one week's time i want us so me and my entire army of investors are going going to hit this project we're going to book all the best units we want to hit, book it before the launch so let me know it's a fantastic trading opportunity i'm heading straight to the office now we're going to make i'm going to show you all the numbers a complete report on dubai coastline Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love. My son's feeling a lot better. I straight just jumped from the hospital, dropped them home, came over here. That's why it's night today. Normally I'd shoot during the day. I'm sorry, because that's, that's the address again. Super loved property. Uh, anyone, again, I've had billionaires staying over there as well. But I've had one concern from anyone who stayed there that there's a bit of traffic because when you get out, there's a, a lot of traffic congestion. So that's one reason why. I didn't invest in this area of uh, Dubai Marina because uh, of the traffic congestion. So um, they start to add that. So th that again, but but again, it's MR is MR. Investors gain fantastic money. They enjoy the ROIs. They enjoyed phenomenal appreciation. That's 5242 right there. Um, again, the prices just jumped. The prices uh, investors enjoyed in appreciation anywhere from 40 percent all the way up to 83 to 87 percent was the highest appreciation i recorded so it's it's phenomenal that's why you, you can never lose with mr 
but select again no doubt is a is a phenomenal phenomenal investment opportunity so sorry this was i had i had to take that i had to take this i mean you cannot you have to pay respects towards something as beautiful as that you got to pay your respects so fantastic property thank you for watching okay i'm mean, in my report i'm going to mention about this building please take that building double tree by hilton right bank opposite is a building called al batin i've particularly mentioned that building because there are very few buildings in dumai marina that have a private beach so that's al batin residences 1 jbr a two buildings that have a private beach in jbr so i've explained the difference between sea view and private beach sorry i guess we we keeping on shooting this video right but anyone with this view so anyone who has a property in the all of jbr now it's extremely hard to get a property at a decent price even in jbr but if you had this view your airbnb is fully occupied your price has jumped at least by a million rupees i i literally have a two bed a one bed if it's selling at 2.6 million you're just going at around 1.2 1.3 million you're making a million rupees in a one bed as well that's the importance of a view so that's another place where you probably missed the boat the prices have just jumped off the roof this is one of the reasons why i'm in complete love with dubai you know i mean i want to make a video on uh, my experiences with schools and hospitals as well for everyone who's relocating to dubai i'm going to make a complete series on relocation but trust me there is no place in this world like dubai and this is coming from a resident you have everything around here it's just beautiful you can live a phenomenal fantastic life so another place where people made a lot of money miras <coughs> phenomenal developer again it's about timing if you enter the project at the right time you would have made over a million dirhams be extremely careful about the developer don't fall for bling because if you fall for bling you will lose money i promise you but if you don't fall for bling the right developer right time right pricing and you're going to make a ball that's it i'm going to end this video right here i'm going back to the office and uh, we are going to shoot dubai coastline report thank you for watching mohammed zahir experience <laughs> the experience <laughs>